Hey guys, and welcome to part 9 of Skies of Arcadia. Obviously, we've been rather impatient, and so is Vice here. Oh, come oh. on. Vice wants to leave. <laughs> I told you he does the little sonic impatient step. You give me we're not gonna start our tap dancing routine? <laughs> A wife, six, seven, eight. Vice, don't jump, no. <laughs> Just grabs the anchor, wee. So, if you remember last time, we beat up a kid and told him to make carpets. And it was awesome! And it was awesome. But now we gotta fly to the, uh, Green Continent, which is south of us. In this mysterious land known as Squares. So we're gonna fly south to get there. Right through a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> this area is kind of interesting, and it's also kind of bullshit at the same time. Why is that? Oh, you'll see. Just give it a second. Clouds. Ah, there we oh. go. <laughs> there are tornadoes all over the place in this passage. <laughs> I thought a cutscene was going to be like, all right, time to go into one. <laughs> and we're going <laughs> to die. <laughs> so this place is known as the South Seas. It's like pretty much no one sails this at all. because, And that's pretty much what's blocked people off from going to this green cotton of Ixataka. But because we have Blizz's engine that we totally stole, we're going to fly there. But still, it's a pain in the ass. No oh, vice. <laughs> You'll see here in a second why it kind of sucks. As we fly there, the currents are very strong, so your ship's getting blown around the entire time, so keeping stable is kind of a bitch. And plus, you can see how fast we're moving at the speed of nothing. And fights, okay. And fights all over the place. They actually, for I think this area has a higher encounter rate, rate, uh, rate than most. Anyway, there's really only two enemies in this. There are loopers, and then there's these gray blobby dudes. Loopers, not the difficult part. The gray blobby dudes, you'll see why they suck here in a minute. But first, just getting used to all these characters from here. Now, because we're getting so many, um, at least, uh, skill points here to use per turn... Ika becomes incredibly valuable for the general grind. She's probably the MVP of the next three parts just because of that. She makes the progress of the game a lot faster. There's the excavator arm, by the way. Athena still doesn't do shit. I was about to say, is that a laser cannon? That's not a laser cannon, it's like a grabby arm. Anyway, that's also you can skip special attacks if they're too long. Which, if you're level grinding, is pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'll do a lot for, like, boss fights. I still want to make those as epic as possible. Magic? Magic? I don't yes. know. Magic. You always know when they cast magic that they're going to miss. Hey, you power yourself up, jerk. Drachma, there's nothing there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm involved. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> She's actually pretty useful on this one. See, look at that. She just killed a looper. Wow. Without trying. All right, Fina. Really, it's actually Cupel killed it, but, you know. You could have killed the one next to you, but okay. <laughs> Everyone getting up on the nerd. <laughs> We're going to fucking fight. <laughs> see, like all these guys are just like, man, I can't seem to hit this looper. Oh, my God. I got this. Bam. <laughs> Fina's got this. Venus found her niche. I did it all by myself. I, I, I could have done that. I could have done that. He's right next to you, Drogman. I can't punch you with this arm, can I? Huh? <laughs> so, also kind of a pain in the ass in this part is there's a couple of discoveries to find in here. And when your ship is being blown around everywhere, it kind of is hard. And with all the encounter rates, this place is bullshit. This place sucks. I hate South Seas. I just was like, well, this place is super dangerous. We can do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this place is super dangerous. Let's crash into rocks. <laughs> she bams us. This will work. New discovery, rock on fire. <laughs> you discover <laughs> little Jack on fire. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. This is why these gray guys suck. They cast a turn them, and I forgot to use <laughs> the delta shield. So this is what a kill spell looks like. And he's dead. <laughs> and that was Vice. Magic? <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Good God. See you, Drachma. Oh, no, not... Uh, well, good luck. 
Damn. What was that noise? <laughs> Damn, kid. <laughs> so I can, at least the two revivers are still alive. <laughs> His claw arm stretches out in its face. <laughs> Just out <of> the <sighs> ground. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I think this is rather hilarious. Let's try this. First Ike is just like, I got you guys. <sighs> All right, back to, back to square one. Ooh, All right, Fina, you got this. The last part, you kicked ass. You got this. Shit. <laughs> how did you miss? I don't know how. Dead. It missed. It was like right on top of him. So magic attacks can miss? Yes. They're not special attacks. Uh, and that's right. Healing special attacks missed. I just imagine this like, like amazing triumphant music playing and then nothing happening. <laughs> Well, just the thought process, like, sorry, I guess you missed my healing part of my brain with that spell. <laughs> like, well, you were right on top of him. <laughs> also, he's kind of dead, so... You got one more shot with this, Vina. Help a storm! Spin stuff actually blows off the ship. <laughs> Damn tornadoes. Or sets the sails on fire. I like the little details, you can actually see the tornadoes in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Every time, huh? He'll keep on trying, I mean. See, a team can catch up, I guess, but come on, you got this, Fina, you got this. Rise in? This, oh, good. <laughs> like he gets a butt first. I'm a legs I'm a warrior. <laughs> So these old slug dudes are a pain in the ass, obviously. There's, there are always a ton of them. Fina, I guess that made up for your failure. <laughs> we finished. You don't deserve the victory screen. Out of everyone. I slept the whole time. <laughs> it sounded like you said, wee woo. <laughs> What if, like, you didn't revive him, and then you won, and then, like, the victory screen is just him unconscious anyway? <laughs> the Ryzen Mist. <laughs> you leveled up. Ah, shit, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Little Jack. Booping. I feel it's probably a good point to heal right now. <laughs> You're lucky. I could have kept in all the fights, and this part would have taken an hour. Oh, God, I see an enemy! That's a discovery, apparently. <laughs> but it has a name and a description already. We didn't discover anything. Ooh, fish. Aw, oh, shit. So I'm like, God, this is taking forever. And this part just sucks. And the music definitely feels peppy. It's like, this sucks. Like, look how many fights I get into at this point that I have to skip. And this is the GameCube's lowered encounter rate. Exactly. Imagine if the Dreamcast was like psh, 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 all the time. My editing would have sucked a lot more. I think we're starting to make it past the current, though, but it's still shoving the ship around. I'm still looking for discoveries because I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> Does it involve getting sucked into a tornado? Thank God, no. Is that an instant game over? I think it pushes you to a random spot. Oh, I missed a discovery there, I just noticed. Shit, whatever. This isn't a 100% run, but whatever. <laughs> no, the world's just spinning around underneath you. Also, we know we're getting closer with snow, so the leaves blowing in the wind now. We're getting closer to our destination. You get there and it's a leaf tornado. <laughs> Why? It's a single leaf spinning like a tornado. <laughs> All right, we made it. That sucked. <laughs> That's so matter of fact. This that with the period there, there's leaves blowing in the wind. <laughs> so we made a discovery just by flying in the air. 
And here's the thing, this place has already been discovered, but we discovered it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, we didn't. Is the implication that Vice or one of the others is writing that description? Or at least someone is writing into a notebook of some kind. Obviously in their off time when they're not on camera. Oh, I can her imagination. <laughs> Dude, yes, that's blessed. <laughs> and then we're going to eat that thing in the back. <laughs> that's the dessert. And then we're going to be in a different art style. That's going to be great. <laughs> we'll look like ourselves and we won't be dead. <laughs> and then my forehead will get bigger. And then Phoenix makes a joke about I could hear it, I could get sad. <laughs> then I could make Fina feel bad, thanks. <laughs> and Drockwood doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> you guys better stop upside down smiling. <laughs> Sadness is just a word for people that don't know how to be happy. Shut up, Vice! <laughs> 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 Sadness is just a word for people to meet me. <laughs> so this place has a distinct difference from, uh, as you said, already a distinct difference from the last place we were. Also, this place here has my favorite music of almost the entire game. We're at landing in Hortenka. Remember, they're not civilized, so this still counts as a discovery. Exactly. <laughs> Manifest destiny. We're taking over. <laughs> There's nobody <laughs> here. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> we can't rob them. <laughs> Fuck, they found us. Oh, uh, we're all from Wisconsin. What are you doing here? They're not made out of leaves. <laughs> we're quit, yeah. Who's Quetia? Oh, apparently they think that Fina is Quetia, whoever Quetia is. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Points at Cupel. Quetia? <laughs> <laughs> we don't fly. I love the expressions they have at this point where it's just like, okay. <laughs> so the people of this uh, Aztec like society seem they don't like us. <laughs> And apparently they mentioned the men of the east. You might guess who those people are. So of course Drakma keeps us on track because he doesn't like when these kids talk. <laughs> we should meet with their falls through the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but just all to the stomach. Crack! <sighs> Come on, boy. And he continues his sentence like nothing happened. But he's just slowly sinking into the dock. <laughs> we should find a... <laughs> we should find a... <laughs> so no one really talks to us. The shops won't sell us anything. They're being rather hostile. I don't know why. Sense of that shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Edit points. Just like I did in Maramba, um, I'm going to take an opportunity to explore this area because there's a lot of hidden treasures and things to happen in this area. Also, I dig this music. <laughs> Understandably. I like, like Spanish guitars and tribal flutes and everything. It sounds really cool. So just talking around gets kind of a general sense of kind of what's happened to this area. A lot of them are missing because a lot of them are dead. I'm going to find out why they're dead. You might guess why. Quit ya. Definitely quit ya. They saw her and they all jumped after her. <laughs> Quit it. You mean Vice, which is me. <laughs> Fina, give me your dress. Hey, Vet. <laughs> Look at him running around. Hey, 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 Merchant. <laughs> so we're supposed to actually go see the Chief to kind of find out what's going on, really. But you don't know where he is. Wait, there's a lot of ways to go. We also need to get Moonstones because apparently we're out of fuel from the flight over the South Ocean, so if we don't get fuel, we can't leave this place, despite the hostility. 
The first place we want to go is over here. This cupel's excited about something. Aw, cutie. Got another cham. <laughs> Hope you're hungry, motherfucker. Eat this living thing. A cham is supposed to be like a moonstone sort of thing, but it doesn't really explain totally what it is. I just imagine it's like a grub. Like a moon grub. Uh, like a moonstone snack? I think there's a ship over here. <laughs> Maybe, like a Scooby snack. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> 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 That's always their It's a town of ugly children. I feel like this town should just have, like, all kids should just have, like, sound voices, kind of like, um, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he originates from here. We want to talk to this older kid right here, just named Youth. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually his real name. Even when he's old. <laughs> yeah. So there's a ship that's clearly not a part of the Horntaka uh, city here. Looks like one of our ships, almost. It's actually a group of pirates that crashed here under the captain Sentime. Sentime's really cool, but he's not here right now. But apparently it looks like they're trying to fix up this ship. But uh, Sentime trains orphans on his ships, and he's a brilliant engineer. So he's super cool. But he got kidnapped by the Valuans. Gee, I, I'm surprised the men of the East were the Valuans? No way. So clearly the discovery was done by the Valuans first, so I don't know why we're make, taking dibsies. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ica's faces. I like the idea was just like, oh yeah, your father got kidnapped, that sucks. By the way, when you fuel, give us all your stones. <laughs> I had one in my back pocket just for this occasion. <laughs> you know I can kill you with this hit, but I won't. <laughs> I have that kind of power. Okay. <laughs> like, he just doesn't know what to say. Did you threaten me? I mean... <laughs> There's a treasure chest on the ship, too, that we want to pick up. Before we leave, right there. <laughs> I can't figure out treasure chests. <laughs> ton of sacri crystals, though. Which we'll, we'll need. Stop dying. <laughs> That's basically what that part said. You probably lost them all at the last part. So this ship is su super futuristic-y, but it's all rusted up like it's been crashed here for years. It was just yesterday. <laughs> ship always look like this. We like the design. It smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is also why we like it. See, what I like about the old graphics is that, like, this is supposed to look like some kind of forest, but it's just rock structures covered in bushes. <laughs> So there's like these bush formations. Like, look, I'm walking on a bush formation. So now that we got our moonstone, at least we can drive away on the ship, but first we gotta go see the chief. Because if we don't see the chief, no one's gonna sell us any ship it's shit in the item shop. No one's gonna help us. It's always the chief. I just wanna press circle to have him slide down. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Especially with how long these damn ladders are in this game. <laughs> of course, we might have seen the longest ladder, and that was on this, our island. Yeah. It's a famous landmark over there. <laughs> was. <laughs> Not famous for anything else. <laughs> exactly, was. There's the chief's den right there. And there's this lady right here. Like, everyone hates us, but she lets us sleep in the chief's tent. So we will do that. Hmm. Well, like, we'll see the chief, but first we're gonna sleep in your tent. Bye. Vice. Vice. <laughs> There's this guy with really long eyebrows. What, what are, are those floppy disks at the end? It's Andros. I think this is basically the same thing that uh, Ika has on her necklace. <laughs> Metal the <laughs> you always wonder when like a chief says, okay, get out. Like, does the other group really just go, well, he said to get out. Let's leave, guys. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go for the other moonstones. Like, has that ever happened ever? I want it to happen in a game. <laughs> leave this place. Okay. <laughs> so they thought a prophecy, um, whatever who created this prophecy, that a woman in a white clothing named uh, Quenya 
or Quintia, would actually save their people. So, of course, we're like the people of prophecy. <gasps> Shocking. <laughs> I like where Renasa Blue was here, but I could just got shocked by it. So the people of Lure are here because they're actually mining this place of all of its natural resources and destroying the forests and everything like that. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? So most of the people were killed. King's missing. Or well, I guess the king's not missing necessarily. He's in, He's hiding. So using my charm and good wit, try to win over this priest. His hand in marriage. <laughs> I haven't hurt anyone who hasn't earned it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping. Pain is just a word people use when I come around. <laughs> my eyebrows are very confused. They really... Are Okay, they're not floppy disks. I was about to say, they really are. <laughs> Turn that eyebrow upside down. Wait. <laughs> My eyebrows will save your progress. Here's the key to the king's temple. The eyebrow hands it over. <laughs> what? Uh huh. <laughs> so, what's up to this disabled? <laughs> you can see through my glass eye? <laughs> you must be a traitor. Hmm. Stop groaning. So now that we got the trust of the priest, we can actually go back to the uh, different areas and actually talk to people. They won't kick us out necessarily. We hate you, leave. Oh yeah, you're gonna save us, so we're great. Censor. <laughs> you just use that as a little reminder where you need a censor. Yeah. Now there's not much up here at first, but this is gonna be a nice area to make a reference to later. So I'm just gonna what, kinda what, show it. What is, what is that? They're having oh, a, it's a dancing it's, person. It's okay. a cliff dance party. I thought it was like a pig. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess or the we mask. We were climbing from the distance, but... Like a dancing pig. Tribals, ooh. Like a tribe animal or something, but no, it's just one of the villains. And then everybody died. <laughs> That's why I play this fun music. <laughs> You still have your family and you know clap your hand no one claps here <laughs> so on top of the bush cliff we find this man the hell bird man <laughs> it's tika tika now he's looking at us yeah have him show you something he can see so is he blind? No, he has really... It's opposite. He has amazing vision. Kia! He sees a golden man to the north. That's going to be good to keep in reference because we'll need to know that later. Or you guys need to know that later. I know it's there, but whatever. <laughs> Moonfish! I see Moonfish. Yeah, it's my... Bleh. I feel like that's just Vice's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> the Yoshi tongue. Blah. Yep. Got some more seeds. Might as well use the seeds. I think I have two of them. Seeds are always stats. What are they for? Increases power by three. I'm gonna pump them all into Vice. Because I would pump some into like Draco and stuff, but when it comes to uh, power, I wanna pump into a character that I know is gonna be there every single time. Right. <laughs> and Vice is gonna be the one consistent. And Drachma leaves all the time. Also, I don't think Drachma needs to worry about it. I'm just waiting for that point where Drachma falls through the dock and completely falls off the map and it goes, Drachma left your party. <laughs> <laughs> you just find him again in some random town. Just did a bar. He just face down drunk and then Tweena's is like, I got this. Ryzen misses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heal some other guy in the background. Hey, my back. Thanks. <laughs> now I'm double alive. <laughs> this is floppy tits. Thanks for that. It, you sure you want to go with floppy tits? It's more like floppy... It, it looks like an alien's about to pierce through her body. <laughs> Help me! Bye, lady. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Let me cartwheel out of your tent. 
I wish he could cartwheel. That just as a selected button that has no purpose but to just cartwheel. <laughs> like in Shovel Knight, if you press down, nothing happens. Yeah. Just kind of does like this little dun duck thing. Like one pixel duck is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> in Nino Kuni, you can get the ability to jump, and you never need a jump. And the thing is, I love how the game even says this jump does nothing. <laughs> but it looks cool, and it doesn't look cool. It looks stupid as hell. <laughs> So we looked at all the areas that are at the bottom. Now we need to go to the top. Ow. Oh, that's a pole. Okay. Is that a lizard? That's a monkey. <laughs> Vice, you found your people. <laughs> ooh, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Misses the platform and he falls. We're all wars. Then how come you all died? Didn't say good Whatever. wars. <laughs> Damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> 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 Too soon. <laughs> we got this little platform we can cross over. Knocks down the monkey. Like close. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's actually gonna happen. <laughs> Good, we got some moon berries. We need them. I don't know how many I have right now. I feel like you actually got that one fairly though. <laughs> exactly. I could teach Vice a new move. There's Rain of Swords. You'll see what that like. That's like later. Sounds pretty cool. Slap. <laughs> right on the ass. Monkey just paps his butt as he passes. <laughs> Hello, dude, too. <laughs> See you later, sweetie. Now I'm the first member of the DK crew. That's <laughs> you. You like that move? <laughs> <laughs> Jess, ladies. Jess. <laughs> I'm a fireman. <laughs> <laughs> Sets the forest on fire. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll put it out. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Slides out the pole again. <laughs> While it's on fire. <laughs> what happened to you, Vice? <laughs> what do you mean, what happened to him? This all was just bubbling under the surface. Yep. I was thinking more from like, okay, part one, I know he was a little out there, but not this much. He's become delirious with, like, adventure, I guess. <laughs> He's gone mad with power. You shouldn't have given him those seeds. I know. <laughs> His power increased by six, oh no! So this is a very long pole. I'm already tired. It'll be worth it when I could slide down it later. <laughs> So there was no point. No, there's a point. Slide. We slide breaks. <laughs> Just for drama, though. Stay on the bottom, kids. <laughs> Grabs those fruits. <laughs> ah, hum. <laughs> this appears to be some kind of bar tavern for the tribe. This person's just like, after the whole situation, we had a dancer, but she won't dance anymore. You gotta be dedicated to get in this bar. That's how you can get in without a membership. As long as you can climb the pole, you can get in. Imagine the crowd <laughs> showing up down the slide. Like, half of them fall off. <laughs> this dancer's just like, I don't want to dance anymore because life sucks. She has the same story as Beleza. <laughs> they might actually be Beleza, who knows? I can't believe I got you twice in a row. <laughs> I am Belinia. <laughs> See, there's a Spanish tilde on it. That's how you know it's not Belina. Shit. <laughs> so in here is a little secret door behind this carpet. Closes on his head. <laughs> Monkey drop kicks me off. <laughs> Vices of the Monkey Men. That's how they're cool. <laughs> Why did it go down sideways? I can't figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ah. Eek, eek, monkey. So they also make alcohol here in big tubs, and it's like white marshmallowy goo. I want it. But of course, no, it's not alcohol. It's, it's a juice. <laughs> it's non-alcoholic beverage. Could be mochi. <laughs> This nation known for its dancers and its mochi. Uh, yes, beer colored juice. <laughs> cool and refreshing and gets you excited. 
Mythisch! Catchy! Yum! <laughs> tastes like fish, it tastes like a moon. Alright, we're gonna slide back down here. I thought he was sliding up for a second. <laughs> See, you thought Dark Souls had a lot of shortcuts. Check this shit out. <laughs> Monkey jumps on his face as he's going down. <laughs> it's, it's mauling me! <laughs> So, like, what was the juice and the wine and everything alcohol in the original Japanese, or was it always just... Apparently in the Dreamcast version, it was actually alcoholic stuff, and then when it got poured to Nintendo, they said, it's not alcoholic. For obvious reasons, it's Nintendo. <laughs> now we're back here that we had the permission from the chief. We can actually buy weapons and items. Well, no wonder everybody in this town is fit. There's ladders and poles everywhere. So we got some actually decent weapons and decent uh, armor as well. Time to load up. I have a lot of money anyway. Like, eh, putting overalls on Vice. <laughs> Fits him perfectly. <laughs> Drop mode's super tight. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to be a plumber? Vice is fashionable. <laughs> ben -in 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 -in. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some fiber robes on these two, which I don't know what that means, but. All robes are made of fiber. I know, it's just a normal robe. Why'd you even call it a fiber robe? It's just a robe. <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll pass right through you. We got some shit to sell to even out the money, because we got a lot of stuff to buy. I got a black map, which is actually pretty decent. If you equip it, it gives your character a proof chance of first striking, which is really nice. Especially if you have a character like Drachma, who's incredibly slow. All right, excited girl who doesn't seem excited. I think she just has to go. <laughs> Sit here selling shit. Now I buy some rising crystals. Also recommend some sacrum crystals as well. Sacrum is uh, is actually a, a thing that restores a thousand HP year to your entire party. So Ooh. nice and useful. And just like you'd expect, it's a spell you can learn for when you really get fucked up. <laughs> exactly. The spells are easy enough to remember this game, at least on the language side of them. Because when it says rum on it at the end of it, it means it's cast it to either an entire party or to, or to an entire group. So Pyrum is a fire spell that, you know, was set to kind of hit everyone. Um, Incrum. Incrum. No, it's Incrumum, is, I think is what it is, where it casts Incrum on everybody. But now that we have uh, that all stuff, we need to find the uh, shit getting stuck on geometry. The way to get over this. <laughs> so we got to find the king's hut here. Shit, keep on crashing into stuff. <laughs> You're above it. You're a ship. Uh, invisible walls. But there's the king's uh, hideout right there, like two feet away. No one can find that. But uh oh, cinematic. I'm bored. <laughs> when I get bored, I like to smell things. Audience? <laughs> Do you know what it smells like? <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do! <laughs> Could it be the lamp over your head? Oh no, they're burning the forest. This just seems like the dickest move ever. I made a ship with a giant flamethrower gun. So, Vice, you're gonna be a fireman for real. <laughs> Damn, he beat me to the punch. Ow. <laughs> oh no, it's the Chameleon. <laughs> Vice, it's Chameleon, goddammit. I can't stop the fire. So we're gonna go now, you all are on your own. We gotta fire cans at the Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> but who drives the Shyamalan, you might be asking? Oh, then this idiot. Okay, he's pretty stupid too. He's DeLoco, he's crazy. Repeatedly knocking his head inside of his helmet. He's not the worst admiral. He's definitely better than... Well, he's pretty bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's persistent, I'll give him that. He can stop pushing all the buttons. Hey, that's the only way he could use that cannon, is slapping the buttons like crazy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Listen, this, he just wants the action line. It even zooms in for them. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> I hope he enjoys a light snack. <laughs> it pulls up a light bulb. <laughs> That is horrible. Who would do this? Not the people in front of us. I love how dramatic Drachma is about things hitting our ship. He's just like, oh, that fire hits us, we're done for. We're gonna fight the chameleon now. I don't care about anything living. I like how this ship has like a triple cannon on its front. So this is not exactly a very hard fight. If you see right now, we do have the magic cannon we can utilize, and we got the harpoon cannon. So we can hold our well enough against other ships, pretty much. Really, it's all about surviving his heavier hits and just beating him down. Might as well see how, what everything looks like. Maybe a Wevely shot would be nice. See, this is when uh, Fina becomes kind of useful, because she uses all those MPs properly for her ship fights. I'm going to look at it really well. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Shamal. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it, it went somewhere. <laughs> Feel the blue of the little pink. Hey, take that, Shamal. I'm a ding dong. <laughs> I know we're in a fight right now, but I'm really tempted to play this drum set. No voice! Boom, boom. <laughs> oh god, we're going down! Say, <laughs> <laughs> so I can't resist. I mean, look, look at the health compared to like the other ships is not too bad. I mean, look, we already did that much damage. It's actually kind of a smaller ship. Really, its most dangerous cannon is probably its front end cannon, known as the revolver cannon. The flame cannon's dangerous, but not as dangerous as they're letting it out to be. Lord de la. Lord de la. You will not speak that language to me. <laughs> he can't even pronounce his own name. But that's like, gives advice. He's like, thanks for that. So, what would help to this part is to nail him with as much cannon fire as you can. I don't do this, so... Here's, here's some with the little sub-cannons. They're where you can set a certain amount of times that fires. I don't like sub-cannons, but... Fuck it. You'll see sub-cannons really do, like, n no damage. Or just miss completely, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Literally no damage. Damn it, Fina! <laughs> Sorry. Can I rise in that cannonball? No, just... Just now. You're done. You're done. D d d play with the stick. Just here. <laughs> now the other one missed. Damn it. At least one hit. Yeah, the sub cannon. The piece of shit. <laughs> this is an epic fight, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> this wonderful music is happening and we're just missing each other from three feet away. Lost a sub cannon? What does that mean? That means that there's no chance of him hitting me at all. Usually that means, depending on my position of my ship. Miss means you missed even though he's in your line of sight. Lost means there's like no chance at all. The funny thing is you have no control over how your ship flies. So they'll just move however they want. And then you'll like set your cannon moves to it without knowing that. <laughs> so then you lose a lot of shots that way. It's kind of bullshit. But actually I think it happens in this fight. All this build up and see how badass your old fire cannon is. <laughs> that looks so goofy. <laughs> Alright, Chalkmaster, bring it on. Oh, yeah, they destroy everything, a nader. <laughs> and it does its job. First, we're gonna top off the health because clearly the ship was kind of beaten up. Good job, Fina. And I just think about <laughs> you made up slightly. And I think about the harpoon cannons. You know, if you select it, you'll never miss. Even though it'd be hilarious if you did. <laughs> harpoon cannon, 
Ooh, right through the whole thing. Jesus right through the ship's God. butthole. <laughs> So, I mean, I really don't have to hit it with another one of those. I just should just blame it with my other cannons. It'll be fine. I like how he's got a glass dome on his ship, too. But too bad he doesn't have a periscope on his head. He now has me lined up for revolver cannon. Shit. I like how it rotates. It's kind of cool. Even though, like, I functionally I think it would be pointless, but it was cool. Look at how, like, explosive this is. And there's, like, nothing. <laughs> ah, That's it? I love a dragon would be like, Ah, oh, we're done for! Ah. <laughs> Honestly, I think this ship gets damaged more when Vice is driving it. I like he's just like, How do you like that, Vice? I'm okay. Kind of warm. <laughs> is it, y you hit us? <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 damage, what a piece of shit. I didn't think you could do enough damage that I would notice. <laughs> I guess I'll heal. <laughs> I feel like they're saying this like, oh no, I hit. You should use the shot in the next turn, Vice. <laughs> we should just shoot cannon shots at Hortenko. What are you thinking, Vice? Stop it. <laughs> I'm like, sub cannon? No, not again. Not that mistake again. Stop it. Not that disaster. So the trick is here, um, if you can knock him off balance with your cannon shots, it prevents him from using his flame cannon. But it still leaves you pretty open to get take damage from his other cannons. But in this game you gotta take risks to get rewards. And really, I have like a ton of health. I don't think it matters. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how much health he has. I'm just like, yeah, this is. He did. I did more yeah. damage with that one shot than his flame yeah. cannon did. That did more damage than his flame cannon. Yeah, your flame cannon is kind of crappy. In fact, it actually looks more like a spray can. It's sad that a ship has to have a robotic arm to use a flame cannon that is actually like a separate spray can. But he couldn't just attach another gun or something? Okay, I mean, I'm a little hurt right now. Okay, this is okay now. I mean, still, your cannon's shitty, but you know. Oh no, whatever should I do? <laughs> God damn it, I'm one point short. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do for real? I guess I'll kill him this turn, whatever. <laughs> I'll have Vice heal? <laughs> no, what am I thinking? Shoot him. <laughs> Make a decision. I only got 950 HP. It means like one other shot would kill me. You can't use the first turn to charge, or? Well, it would, I still wouldn't be able to use the uh, Harpoon Cannon. Uh. You need to have it available to turn that At the very it. beginning of the turn, yeah. Uh, okay. But now I'm back to full health, so I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, I, I can't use the harpoon can this turn. He's still fucked, though. Because now I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just focusing. It's like, wait. He's still looking at this shit all mean. <laughs> I want you to focus on that ship harder. See, that's what Lost is. Like, he got right in front of me, so I couldn't use it. Shit. What a waste. If I had the harpoon cannon, I would murder him right now. It's really at this point, if, if this didn't happen, just build up your strength again and just whack him on the next turn. Intense fights, right? <laughs> Is there a way to skip these cinematics? <laughs> I will do it for the following one. 
Hey, cause I kinda wanna get a newspaper right now. We knocked it off a of balance, though. <laughs> Whoa! He, he damns Vice, but it's his own fault. He's gotta blame someone other than himself. Now we, we murder him. Nice thing is you can also use abilities like Increm and Quicka on your ship to make your ship faster and stronger. You can use buffs on a ship, which is actually kind of cool. And see, because you knocked him off balance, he doesn't do anything this turn. He's dead. <laughs> wow. Can't be asked. <laughs> we straighten up the shit, but ah, whatever. This this ship fight was rather pathetic, Deloco. Shame on you. I'm crazy, not skilled. <laughs> Lordy. Bye. Well, I thought you fired a black hole missile at him. I already killed another Dadmiral, great. And then you robbed him. I got a Captain's Stripe, but I'm not gonna use it. Why is there fire in my head? <laughs> he goes cartoony. I just leave it there for a moment. <laughs> and then he passes out. He looney tuned himself to death. Get a hold of yourself, but you're holding me. <laughs> it's what I wanted. Uh -uh. <laughs> we could blast him out of the sky to save problems later, but whatever. <laughs> we should use that harpoon cannon. <laughs> right now. It's Hortanka, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we finally taken him out, we can actually go see the king now. Crash into the tree. <laughs> All according to plan. This guy's hiding in a hut, and he's just gonna basically say, Oh yeah, I've heard about this whole uh, trying to get to this crystal thing. You need to find this temple that we don't know where it is. And the only way to know where it is is to save a dude that the Bluins captured, so go do that. Eh. I have a question. Did we put out the fires that were already in the forest? No. How? So they're just burning. <laughs> like, how? Fire extinguishers? Fire extinguisher cannon fire. <laughs> Let me put out the fire, launches the harpoon cannon into the forest. This is gonna take a long time. <laughs> it doesn't do anything, though. Comes back, ah, oh, we got a tiger. Dinner's on the house. <laughs> Maybe if we rub the tiger on the fire. Fina, go down and do it, since you fucked up. <laughs> Is it not strange that we haven't had contact with you for centuries, but we speak the same language? <laughs> Money, yeah! Party, 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 you wanna? <laughs> yeah, we haven't evolved that much. <laughs> I like how Ike was doing that right in Vice's face. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Vice is like, come on, Aika, you're embarrassing me. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> pretend she didn't do that. These fucking kids. <laughs> Are you really the guys who stopped the fire? Cause <laughs> no, we didn't start the fire. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn. It was always burning, and now we're leaving. Baka. <laughs> I'm Drachman, I have no animations while idle. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so we gotta go save his Sapa. Well, you did say the cool thing, so my mood is better. <laughs> I heard from a guy that you're really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> you gotta be hearing that from everyone. Cool as fire. Blah. I'm so cool that if I was down there in the fire, the fire would go out. Cold doesn't put out... Forget it. 
There's no way that you stand there would ever put out a fire. Lucky fish. Okay. <laughs> Just eyes pointing in different directions, looking to the sky. <laughs> Did you know that ice burns really cold, like? <laughs> ice burns my mouth. That's what he says as he's walking out of the tent. Ice burns my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we trust him with anything? <laughs> well, he said the cool thing, and you know the rules. But the children don't think he's cool, so I don't think he's cool. <laughs> anyway, next time we're actually going to be going to a Valuan stronghold inside of a sacred mountain. Another part that, if you're not used to the game, can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But I will show you where the treasures are and how to make it through it quickly. Because otherwise, I'll show you why it sucked. We'll see. <laughs>